So anyway, so I just wanted to jump in here, guys, and tell you guys what happened to me a couple of days ago, which is very um, un out of the norm, out of the norm, <laughs> out of the ordinary. Like with this um, situation and conversations I had with this person, really scares me. Um, I do have OCD, and I do have really bad social anxiety, and then other anxieties. It's just I have a lot going on up here. And whenever something like this happens, it just gets to me and it eats at me and I just <sighs> overthink things when I shouldn't. And I'm hoping this video is going to turn out okay. Normally in real life, I do not get hit on. I don't. It's just the way it is. Life, <laughs> I just don't. I'm not the girl you hit on. It's like I'm the friend of the girl you want to hit on or you want to be with. You know, I'm like, okay, can you get her number for me? I'm that type of person or I'm that type of friend and people see me as that and that's perfectly okay I'm fine with that and I haven't really got hit on since we moved here to Germany so I haven't really had that problem and so I really haven't had to face this like like annoyingness of myself of like trying to be too nice but trying not to hurt someone's feelings okay so let's go ahead and jump into the story a couple weeks ago I went out to take my dog. When I first walked out of my building, I heard talking. And of course, I'm in Germany. I'm gonna hear somebody talking to German. It's, it's like, it's normal. I'm used to it now. I don't understand exactly what they're saying. I can maybe trigger some words I might know in German or whatever. And I kind of, I mean, I don't have time to figure out what they're saying when they're not even talking to me. So if they're not talking to me, I'm not gonna worry about it because it's not my business anyway. Okay, so, the way they looked, they looked like they were repair guys, maintenance guys, um, landscaping kind of like, I don't know exactly what they were uh, doing. So um, I went ahead and went on to my business. I went to the little patch of grass in front of our building, which is okay because as long as I pick up after my dog, I'm perfectly good. So there's a little bench, so I sit on the bench and I let her do her thing. And usually I stay out for a little bit longer when the boys are taking naps because she needs energy, she needs to get it out. I sit down and I mind my, I was minding my own business. Really don't care about you know whatever they're doing because they're not trying to talk to me or whatever. So two guys walked past me and I was like, okay, so there's the guys. Okay. After the five minutes uh, went by, another guy walked by and um, he was younger than the other two guys. And I was like, oh, he must be like a trainee or he must be, you know, and I'm thinking all this in my head and it's just pointless and stupid. And I was like, okay, well, I don't have anything else to do but watch my dog do her business and that's not really entertaining. And so <laughs> I glanced up and he looked at me and he had like a really weird smile on his face and he kept smiling and it was like almost uncomfortable which I'm not really good with. Like, I'm not good with confrontation like that. He was just smiling, and maybe he was just having a really nice day. Maybe he was having a good day. And so I was, like, just blowing it off like he's not staring at me. And um, I glanced back for just a second to see if they're still there because I was going to um, I was gonna walk down more way, on, walk more down on the sidewalk. But um, I looked up, and he, they were still there. And so I was like, okay, so I'll just... I don't want to get in their way because they're working out and that they're working on whatever they're doing with, in that area. And I was not about to bring Harley over there and cause more. Mm -mm, no. So I glanced back over there and, he, and the guy looked at me like, oh, she must be interested because she looked at me. No, I'm not interested in you. It's, 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 it's what he did. It's like, so he winked at me. I was like, this is awkward. Okay. I'm just, so I turned my body in a certain direction so I thought maybe he'd get the hint so I wasn't paying attention I wasn't looking I wasn't you know whatever and so um Harley was kind of going that dire general direction so I kind of like I have to of course I have to watch to see what she's doing pull her back blah 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 and so they're gone I was like oh okay cool yay I don't have to worry about the creepy guy looking at me so Come to find out, he actually was squat down. The other two guys walked across, walked on the other side of the building, and he was squatting there with a clipboard, and he was writing things, and whatever. So I was like, oh, okay, so whatever. And I really thought for a second he was gone, so I was like, okay, so kind of like, like making funny things like, oh, Harley, come here, kind of noises. And he stood straight up. And I didn't. he didn't do that because I was doing noises at Harley. But it was weird. I kind of turned back way where I was because I wasn't going to have con eye contact with him. 
So I heard like after I turned over a little bit, like my body is like, okay, so should I walk? I don't know. So I was debating on walking, whatever. So then I kept hearing someone walking behind me. And I see him right there. So I was like, okay, so I shouldn't be worried. Well, no one was coming. And by the time I turned this way, I then looked back. Harley was wicking her little tail and her butt barking at this man standing like a good like two inches from me. And I was like, okay, this is kind of weird. And I was like, okay, this is awkward. Like, okay, do you need help? Can I help you? Like, what? And so he looked at me, he goes, hello. And like the German accent, he said in German, blah, blah, blah. I said, hi. And he goes, oh, hi. His accent was gone. It was no longer there. And I was thinking to myself, like, well, that's nice. Okay, he speaks English. That's pretty cool. And I envy a lot of people who could speak more than two languages or more than one language in that. It's very awesome, right? I envy those people. But anyway, it doesn't matter what language it is as long as you know, you know. Anyway, so <clears throat> after he came over, blah, 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 and he goes, I just wanted to say uh, it's really nice to see some, something so pretty in the morning. Okay. In my mind, I'm thinking, oh, okay. He means Harley, and I don't know why I thought that he meant Harley. I don't know why. Be I guess because also everyone's been commenting on her, saying, oh, she's so pretty, she's beautiful, oh, she's so cute, blah, blah, blah. And I don't know he thought it was about Harley. So I started going on, on, and on about Harley, how old she was and stuff, because I was like, oh, yeah, I love her, she's awesome, she's so a dog. And, I, you know, my previous video shows how excited I am. And I am pretty excited. She drives me crazy. But, you know, she's a pretty cool dog. And she's pretty. Right? So, I, I was going on about this and he looked at me like, are you legitly thinking that I meant the dog instead of you? Kind of thing. And I was like, look, kind of like took him back for a second. I was like, and I guess he was expecting me to say, oh, thank you. But I didn't because I didn't, it didn't connect. I didn't, I'm dumb. Anyway, I respond slowly, I guess. But then he goes, well, it is really nice to see something so beautiful in the morning. And I go, uh-huh. I kind of mumbled. And I said, wow. I said, your job must really suck. And he looked at me like, oh my gosh, she's insulting me. And I wasn't. And, I, and he goes, what do you mean? And he, I said, you know, you're over here talking to the girl with the dog? Who does that? Kind of like, and he was like, and then I hear German people, I heard the guys talking, and so I guess they're looking for him because he's missing. <laughs> and he's not doing his job because he's talking to the girl with the dog. Um, I, you know, he looked at my face and he looked all the way down like, oh my gosh, I'm, he, like, like he's checking me out. So this is the creepy part. This is what made me go like, oh, kind of reaction. He was rubbing his chin with his finger, doing this, looking at my face down to my butt. And that made me so uncomfortable that I did not want to proceed on any kind of conversation with this man at all. So I, then after I said that, he looked at me like, well, it was worth it. And he walked, like, he winked at me and then he walked halfway, looked back to see if I was watching him and looking. Cause I don't want, I, of course I want to look at him because I'm like, Okay, is he going like, is, okay, I gotta make sure he goes away because I don't want him over here, blah, blah, blah. I feel uncomfortable. And that whole conversation was very awkward. So, but then he turned around and winked at me again and then they started talking in German. So I was like, great, great. And then he kind of like nudges over there to me. I was like, you better not be talking about me in German. It made me so mad. But anyway, it's just frustrating me. So with that being said, it was uncomfortable. And I didn't like it. So after a couple hours, we came back, came back down, and I hear I didn't see him for like five minutes while I was down there. I was down there for like five minutes or so. Um, I went to a different side of the grass and everything, and um, so I didn't see him for about five minutes or so. So it wasn't that big of a deal. I wasn't really worried about it. It was about two hours after, yeah, two hours after I talked to him last time. And then I hear, hey, I went to the other bench and I sit down like I didn't hear it. And he comes up, says, hey, sorry, I didn't mean to be rude last time. My name is Eric. Okay, so pre-warning, he's speaking a German accent. It's very hard to understand. And I said, 
Hi, my name is Holly. Nice to meet you. And so I thought that was that was the end of it, like the conversation, right? It wasn't. And anyway, so after I said my name was Holly, blah blah blah, and he goes, "Wow, your name's Holly. Hollies are always the sweet ones." And he had the creepy little smile on his face again, which was really weird. I was like, and my response was like, "Sure, I guess. I don't know." And uh, I'm sweet, yes, but I'm not gonna let you know that. I'm gonna be civil and not a B word. Oh, and then he, I was like saying, well, it was nice talking to you, blah, blah, blah. And so he's like, hey, uh, can I ask you a question? And I said, sure. Oh, uh, I kind of like said it snarky, look snarky ish to kind of give him, like, okay, she's not really interested in me, so why do I keep talking to her? <laughs> anyway, so he goes, hey, so are you doing anything this weekend? And I said, yes, I am. I'm busy. And he's like, what? Do you have a boyfriend? I was like, no. The two seconds I paused in between saying that and the next thing I'm about to say, he had the biggest smile on his face like a creepy. Have anyone ever seen The Grinch with Jim Carrey when he does that evil looking smile? Mm -hmm. That's what he looked like for like the two seconds. And I said, well, actually, I have a husband. And the face, his face was so disappointed. Like, legitly disappointed. I felt like, oh my gosh, I just stabbed him in the heart. And he goes, his response was, okay, cool. Cool. Like that. And I was like, okay. So I was like, um, walking to my door. I said, nice talking to you. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. And then um, he's like, wait, 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 Holly, wait. I said, yes. And I said, he said, can you do me a favor? And I was like, what do you mean do you a favor? And I'm getting like offensive, like, okay, you better not say what I think you're gonna say. You better not say anything inappropriate because you're gonna get it. Not get what he wants, but get like, you know what I mean. Um, he's already yelled at. Anyway, so he says, well, can you promise me something? And I was like, what? Can I, I was like, kind of like, what are you talking about? This, just favor, just, just, can you like smile? Like, can you keep smiling? I was like, what? And I'm like, and he's like, cause you know, seeing you smile is gonna make my job a lot easier out here. And I hate my job. Like that, and I was like, okay, I'll try. And so after that little confrontation with him, um, about two hours or so, I think, I think, okay, and then he said, hey, if you wanna come back down in two hours, I'll be leaving in two hours. Come down in like less than two hours or so. And we could talk some more. And I was like, um, probably not. But if we run into each other, okay. So I went up the stairs and stuff. And then there was a part where he wanted to help me with my trash. Blah, blah, blah. Typical guy. And so that's when I took, like, I took a break for it. Last time I came, the next time I came down was like, I want to try. I try to wait long enough so he didn't see me, but he was down there, and I had my trash. And he helped me with my trash, blah. And so the moment I was, cause we're in Germany, I we we recycle, so we recycle all of our stuff, which is sometimes time consuming, but it's worth it, you know. Of course, I was going. I was hauling butt to the uh, recyclable area, and so I was like. <laughs> And I had to get there, and I had to put stuff in the bins or whatever, separate them, and I had, to, I had to haul butt back upstairs. Because I was not about to sit there and have a conversation, and he was too friendly and too nice and too, just too much. And I was like, I'm done with this. So I went upstairs, I went in the back way of our apartment, our building, and then I went upstairs, and I stayed in there purposely for an hour extra than, you know, like, oh, I've been up there for three hours, gonna take her back out. You know, my sons are asleep. They're in bed, so it's like, what, like 7 o'clock? Maybe, maybe later than that. I don't remember. But I went down, and I hear my name, Holly. And I was like, gosh, no. And I was hoping secretly it was my husband. I was like, please, Lord, let it be my husband. And it wasn't. It was the creepy guy. Anyway, so, <laughs> I'm weird. So, with that being done, I was like, crap, blah, blah, blah. I went back to my little bench and stuff, so... Um, and everything, and um, he goes, hey, you have great timing. I was, we were just about to leave. You are so, like, great at timing it. Like, I was like, I wasn't trying to get down here to talk to you, but okay, I'm glad you're leaving. Okay, bye. 
And I'm like trying to like get rid of them. And then he goes, hey. And his phone started ringing. And so I was like, okay, I'm just going to go back upstairs. I'm not going to deal with this. And he, whatever, whoever he was on the phone with, he hung up on saying, wait, Holly, wait, wait. It's like when someone's trying to get on their plane, you're like, wait, I just want one more hug. Wait, wait, kind of thing. And I was like, this is not out of a movie. Please stop trying to make this weird thing happen. It's not going to happen. And I know he's probably just being nice, but he was hitting on me a lot, which made me very uncomfortable. But I said, yes. He's like, I just want to wish you the best with your, you know, family. I was like, oh, okay, yeah. And I, and I, I said, I hope you found a job that you like a lot, that you, it's not crappy, you know, or suck. And he goes, he gets in, his, gets in the truck with all the guys that was with him. He says, hey, well, he goes, well, but I'm starting to like my job now. I was like, wait, what? And he goes, well, because if you're going to be here and going to be around, I'm going to like my job a lot more. I was like, what? No, no, this is not the, no, no. And so he's like, well, I hope to see you later. I hope to see you again sometime. And I, I kind of like looked awkward, like awkward. And he goes, don't forget to smile though. Like that. And he drove away. Waving. And so I was like, great. Now I have a stalker out here and he's going to hunt me down and <laughs> kill me. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Anyway. I hope I don't see him again. This is going to be freaking funny. And the thing is, I told my husband about this, and he thought it was funny at first. My husband thought it was annoying after I kept telling him about it. And it's like this long paragraph. And he's like, you know, like, you know, leave her alone. I'm not there. Da -da -da -da. And he's like, over here saying, well, I wish I was there so no guy could be hitting on my girl. Blah, blah, blah. Typical man. And he normally, he normally never has to, never, he never has to worry about me usually. Usually he doesn't. So it's really weird watching him respond in like a jealousy way. And normally he doesn't get jealous. And of course, why would he get jealous? You know, it's like, okay, I married her. I'm, you know, she's stuck with me, blah, blah, blah. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you guys next time. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And like and subscribe, like I just said. <laughs> so guys, thanks. Bye guys.